book. If you will please turn with me to the book of Exodus. Exodus chapter 3, verse 9 to 15. Yes, 9 to 15. Exodus chapter 3, verse 9 to 15. Yes, sir. Now, therefore, behold, the cry of the children of Israel is come unto me. And I have also heard, sorry, I have also seen the oppression wherewith the Egyptians oppressed them. Come now, therefore, and I will send thee unto Pharaoh, that thou mayest bring forth my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. And Moses said unto God, Who am I, that I should go unto Pharaoh, and that I should bring forth the children of Israel out of Egypt? And he said, Certainly, I will, be, I will be with thee, and this shall be a token unto thee that I have sent thee. When thou hast brought forth the people out of Egypt, ye shall serve God upon this mountain. And Moses said unto God, Behold, when I come unto the children of Israel, and they shall say unto me, the, Sorry, and shall say unto them, The God of your fathers has sent me unto you. And they shall say to me, What is his name? What shall I say unto them? And God said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am has sent me unto you. And God said moreover unto Moses, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, The Lord God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob has sent me unto you. This is my name forever. This is my memorial unto all generations. Father, hide this little clay behind the cross and let the name of Jesus be exalted. Hammer your word into our hearts in Jesus' name. Amen. Micah chapter 4 verse 5 says, Micah chapter 4 verse 5, For all people will walk everyone in the name of his God. Small gene. For all people will walk everyone in the name of his God. And we will walk in the name of the Lord our God. Forever and ever. Hallelujah. Close study of scripture reveals that in this life, everybody walks in a name. Knowingly or unknowingly, you walk in a name. That proof of that is, is that if, you are in, if somebody is involved in a car accident or some tragic situation, every person in that bus or car mentions a name. The Christians will mention the name Jesus and if they are not, the other members are not churchgoers, they also mention the name. Psychologically, we believe that there is power in the name. We believe that there is power in the name. Now, when God sent Moses to go and deliver his people from Egypt, Moses had already been in Egypt. And so he knew the tradition of Egypt. Egypt was filled with many gods. And they knew how they related with their gods. And don't forget that the children of Israel were born in Egypt. They were raised in Egypt. So they understood the tradition of the Egyptians. And they knew what power a name carries. So when God instructed Moses to go and deliver his people, Moses asked God one question. If I go to these people, God, I know them. I have been there with them. I know their understanding and I know the kind of tradition they are involved in. They are going to ask me one question. And that question will be, what is his name? Because if you are going to go out of Egypt, we will go out in the name. 
We cannot go out all by ourselves or in our name. We need to go in a name that carries power. So they will ask me, what is his name? Hallelujah. And God said to Moses, tell them, I am that I am. This is my name unto all generations, and this is my name forever. Now I want you to understand the name I am was derived from God's original name, Yahweh. Now, in English, it's called Jehovah. The same name means the self-existing God. It means that God exists with or without you. It doesn't take your money to make him God. It doesn't take your praise to make him God. He is God whether you praise him or not. He is God whether you pay your tithe or not. He is God whether you give him an offering or not. He is God. He is the self-existent God. Nobody created him like other gods. So, God said to Moses, I am. It's my name. And this is the name I will be known forever. Hallelujah. In Exodus chapter 6, verse 2 and 3, God made a powerful statement. He said, and God spoke unto Moses and said unto him, I am the Lord. I appeared unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob by my name, God Almighty. But by my name, Jehovah, was I not known to them. So the name Jehovah was revealed to Moses. When God sent him to Egypt, God was so close, he called Abraham his friend, but he never revealed this name to Abraham. He was known to them almighty. But when he got to Moses, he said, I am, tell my people, I am is my name. Yahweh is my name. Jehovah is my name. I'm the self-existing God. If you go through the Bible, you will understand that God has many names. Yeah. You have the names like Jehovah Jireh. Yeah. God, our provider. Jehovah Sikinu. The Lord, our righteousness. Jehovah Mekideskim. The Lord, our sanctifier. Jehovah Rohi, the Lord, our shepherd. Jehovah Shammah. The Lord is present. Jehovah needs his advantage. You can go on and on and on and on. But hear this. All these names are title names. All these names are title names of God. But his original name is Yahweh. When my parents gave back to me, they called me Bernard Mensah Adams. But to my wife, I'm a husband. To my church, I'm a pastor. To my children, I'm a father. To the world, I'm an apostle. All these are title names, but my original name is Bernard Mensah Adams. Watch this. My title names or title names shows you my ability or capacity. If you hear that title name, Pastor, it immediately tells you what I do. If you hear husband, it tells you, no, I'm not single. <laughs> if you hear father, it tells you I have children. So the title names tells you who or what that person is able to do. Now watch this Bible. When God said to Moses, I am, that I am, I am is my name, Yahweh is my name, Jehovah is my name. Yet God has different title names. Now all those title names tell us what God is capable of doing. You hear Jehovah Jireh, it tells you 
God was saying, tell them I am Jehovah Jireh. I am their provider. You hear Jehovah seeking him, it tells you he is able to impute righteousness. You hear Jehovah Mekideshkem, and immediately you must understand that he is the God that can sanctify us, set us apart for a good cause. You hear Jehovah Rohi, and it must inform you that the Lord is our shepherd. So his title names tells us what he is capable of doing. Therefore, watch this. If you go to the Bible, you will realize that none of the title names stands alone without Yahweh. Yes, sir. <laughs> All the title names of God begins with Yahweh, begins with I am. So when God said to them, said to Moses, tell them that I am is my name. God in effect was telling them, tell them if they see me as their Jara, I am their provider. If they see me as their righteousness, I am their righteousness. If they see me as their healer, I am their healer. So that name summarizes the name of God. None of the title names stands alone, otherwise it's irrelevant. God is not Jaira. He is Yahweh Jaira. He is not Rafa. He is Yahweh Rafa. Jehovah the healer. I am the healer. I am your righteousness. I am your shalom. I am, I am, I am. Like our father would say, watch this Bible. Watch this Bible. This name was so sacred that when the Bible was being translated into English, they could not translate Yahweh. So they had to use Lord in capital letters. Capital R O L so L R so L O L D Lord L O L D in block letters in capital letters because the translators were so scared because God has said anyone that uses His name in vain 